Senior Chinese and Russian officials have discussed promoting cultural exchanges and cooperation in China's southern city of Guilin. Chinese Vice Premier Liu Yandong and Russian Deputy Prime Minister Olga Golodets are co-chairing the 14th session of the China-Russia Committee on Humanities, Cooperation in Guangxizhuang Autonomous Region. Jiang Qian reports. This year's session aims to further develop the China-Russia Comprehensive Strategic Cooperative Partnership. Vice Premier Liu said people-to-people -people and cultural exchanges are the basis for bilateral ties, and that programs between the two nations will continue. In recent years, activities like Language Year and Tourism Year have helped to improve understanding and friendship between peoples from both countries. So humanities exchanges have become one of the three pillars of China-Russia ties. The other two are mutual political trust and economic cooperation. Russia's deputy prime minister echoed these thoughts. She emphasized that Russia was ready to work with China to deepen and broaden humanities communication and cooperation. The China-Russia Comprehensive Strategic Cooperative Partnership is mature and stable. Russia is satisfied with humanities cooperation with China and would like to continue with the joint efforts. The two countries have agreed to hold the opening ceremony of the China-Russia Youth Year in 2014 in Russia and the closing ceremony in China in 2015. The China-Russia Committee on Humanities Cooperation has become an important platform to boost bilateral ties. After this main session is over, subcommittees to do with media, education and others will meet as well. And to deepen the communication of the younger generation, various kinds of activities will be held the next year. Jiang Tian, CCTV.